Have you ever had moments where it seemed like you were dealing with children instead of adults? You know how it is. You're just vibing in the grocery line, enjoying your music, when BAM! Some guy in front of you starts throwing a fit over a few cents at the cashier. Honestly, it's a scene. So, let's talk about five childish behaviors we really should be avoiding. Number one, public outbursts. Do you know someone who always makes loud complaints in public? Let's consider a scenario at a busy airport. Sai, a frequent flyer, is waiting for his delayed flight. The delay has been extended multiple times, and Sai is starting to feel quite frustrated. He throws a tantrum at airport staff. Dr. Alan E. Kasdan, a child psychiatrist, suggests that letting our emotions run wild can feel a lot like being lost in a foreign country. It's pretty frustrating. Sure, we all have feelings, that's normal. But how we show them is key. So next time you don't get exactly what you want, remember to take a breath and be polite. It's about keeping calm and showing respect. Number two, stubbornness. Do you find it challenging to deal with people who refuse to shift their stance no matter what? Like when a team member on a project rejects constructive feedback, insisting on doing things their way. Clinical psychologist Dr. Laura Markham explains that this kind of stubbornness usually means a shortage of empathy and a hesitancy to work together, which are crucial traits in grown-up relationships. Life's about being flexible, seeing from others' eyes, taking in feedback, and teaming up. It's not just about proving you're right. It's about building better relationships and results. Number three. Blame shifting. Ever find yourself caught in the crossfire of blame? Maybe something has failed and they are projecting the failure on you. A family expert, Dr. Roberta M. Gilbert, says that not owning up to your mistakes is a red flag for emotional immaturity and can really trip up your growth. The real deal is not about being perfect, but about facing our flubs, learning from them, and moving forward. That's growth. That's maturity, and honestly, that's just part of being beautifully human. Number four, attention seeking. Do you sometimes feel like you're part of a drama series because of someone's theatrics? Imagine you're minding your own business and you get distracted by someone trying to seek attention. A brain science expert, Dr. Susan Krauss Whitbourne, tells us that these big reactions usually hide low self-esteem and can put a strain on relationships. To steer clear of that, you've got to be self-aware and real. It's about checking yourself when we start going overboard and asking, am I just trying to grab the spotlight or am I really expressing what I feel? Number five, pouting and sulking. Do you know someone who turns cold and uncommunicative when things don't work out for them? You ask them what the problem is, but they don't want to tell you. Yet, they're acting aggressively. A clinical psychologist, Dr. David Anderson, tells us that sulking doesn't really help when we're bummed. We all get disappointed, but dwelling on it gets us nowhere. So, let's try this instead. When you hit a bump, Acknowledge your feelings, take a breath, and then let it go. Got a knack for humor? Use it. A good joke or a good laugh can flip the script. And hey, it's totally fine to express your disappointment. Just do it in a way that doesn't bring down everyone's vibe. Can you identify any of these behaviors either in yourself or in people around you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. You might also want to share this video with someone who could find it useful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.